I have brought you up before my eyes. You are going, you know. You are being brought up, and you say I must follow you. But the argument that Hazrat Ibrahim presented was, "Ya bate inni kajani min al ilm maalam yatik fatabeeni ahde ka sirat al sabiya." Oh dear father, to me a special knowledge has reached, has come, which didn't reach you. So you have to follow me. Fatabeeni, follow me. Ahde ka sirat al sabiya. I will lead you. to the right path so that is the you know position of the prophets the difference questions are the same but the modes of answering the source of the knowledge different philosophers they are saying from their own minds their own intellects their own reasoning and the prophets claim it's not our our ideas we don't claim the proprietorship of these ideas we are not the authors of these books muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never said i am the author of this book what a beautiful book i have written which has had been accepted as the top most example of arabic literature till this date even the christians and the jews who are arabs they they accept that this is the biggest piece of literature in arabic language but muhammad didn't claim that i wrote it on the contrary he said no 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 is the revelation is is a last book he has revealed it to me so that is the difference but it is 100% correct now let us go to the fourth discussion fourth topic what were the answers but i should say what are the answers given by all the prophets to these basic philosophical questions and i told you in the previous lecture that these answers have been the same from adam to muhammad alayhi salatu was salam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam there has not been no difference there has been difference in the practical guidance in the sharia in the rules in the detailed laws of the sharia the sharia of moses and sharia of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they differ in many aspects but no difference regarding this iman the answers to these philosophical questions have been the same throughout now please one by one answer number 1 this universe which is extending before our eyes and we don't know the size of this universe till this date we might claim that our knowledge has you know progressed tremendously but still we don't know where it begins where it ends but we know for certain that this universe has a beginning and an end it didn't exist forever from ever and it will not continue forever this is the first answer this is hadis not qadim this is fani not baqi this is the terminology of the muslim philosophers hadis versus qadim hadis something which didn't exist before and then it came into existence Qadim, something which was existing all the times from ever. Baki, which will remain forever, and Fani, which is going to perish, which is going to end. This universe is Hadis, and it is Fani. It has a beginning, and it has an end. Now, please note one point. Previously, the physicists. they thought the physicists of the newtonian era they thought that matter is indestructible this universe is from ever will remain forever it has no beginning and no end but this era of physics which is called the einstein era of physics after the theory of relativity there is a revolution in the field of physics now you must have heard the big bang theory now it is accepted it has a beginning it started with a big explosion the big bang and from that moment it is expanding the theory of expanding universe in a spiral way it is extending but a time will come when it will recoil it will go again you know and it will become one point just as so many galaxies you know they have perished 
and now they are represented by black holes in this universe in this atmosphere in this universe in the, the actually so that is here science now has come very near to the answer that was given by the prophets the answer was this universe this existence it has not existed from ever it will not remain forever it started at a particular moment in time and it will end up it might be billions and trillions years, years you know from this date but this is accepted by the science that it will come to an end answer number 2 this universe is hadis and fani but there is a person let me use this word because we believe in a personal god not impersonal god there is a person who created this universe and that person he now let me use the pronoun because the word person you know it doesn't appear to be good for the for allah subhanahu wa taala he now i use this pronoun he is from ever and will remain forever he was awwal wal akhir wa zahir wal batin he created this universe and he is the creator and this universe is the creature it is it is was created by him he is alone one not only one alone please note there's a world of difference between one and alone to one there is a second one to a second one there is a third one possibilities are there alone none with him qul huwa allah ahad not only wahid al wahid al qahar these words also occur for allah subhanahu wa taala but ahad is you know much stronger word for for this concept qul huwa allah ahad proclaim allah is alone qul huwa allah ahad allah as samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad he is one and alone he has no beginning no end he existed from ever he will remain and exist forever he is qadim he is baqi allah baqi wa yabqa wajhu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram kullu man alayha fan wa yabqa wajhu rabbika zul jalali wal ikram he is the only existence that will continue forever number 3 call him by any name all the good names belong to him lahul asmaul husna and all the good attributes are with him to the maximum extent absolute limitless 